In Connecticut, we have a guilty verdict in the case of missing mother of five, Jennifer Dulos. You may remember she went missing back in 2019. Her body was never found. Fotis Dulos, her estranged husband, was arrested and charged with her murder less than a year later, but he never made it to trial because he took his own life. His girlfriend at the time, Michelle Traconis, was also charged in connection with Jennifer Dulos' disappearance. Today, a jury found her guilty of conspiracy to commit murder and five other charges. Dateline correspondent Dennis Murphy joins us now. Dennis, I know you've been following this case from the start. Walk us through this complicated case and why Traconis was charged, even though Jennifer Dulos's body has never been found. Vicki, let's start with this very dramatic moment in court. Guilty on all counts. The court of the clerk was asked to poll each of the jur six jurors, poll each and say if that was their correct vote. As they said, Yes, yes. Michelle Draconis slumped in her chair, put her head down on the defense table, and wept. And it took the jury just two days and maybe a few hours to find her guilty mm. of helping her estranged, helping her former lover kill his estranged wife and then clean up for the crime afterwards. Uh, Fotis, of course, was not in the trial other than the specter of all the things that he's been accused of in, in, in this crime. But it came down to... The case against the former girlfriend, I think the, in a trove of evidence against her, Vicki, the biggest thing was a single frame from a city of Hartford surveillance camera mm. that showed her leaning out of her lover's truck as he deposited what was thought to be, what was later determined to be, bloody evidence from the cleanup of the crime, mm. putting garbage bags in, into, into bins, putting a, a, a plate license, a bogus license plate down a file. She leaned out and the question was, if you didn't know, as your lawyer said, that this is all speculation on the prosecution's case, if you didn't know, what were you doing? What did you think was going on as he dumped all of this bloody garbage out? Wow. And then, of course, she's led away by the bailiffs and her parents are weeping in the back and they say they will attempt to secure the six million dollar bond that the judges said. Children involved on all sides. Jennifer's, Jennifer's five are growing up now. Without their mother, they are being cared for by their mother and their longtime nanny. Mm. And uh, Michelle, the now accused, the, the, the Michelle, who was the accused, is now the, the, the guilty defendant, has a, has a teenage daughter. She's about 17. So there's just unhappiness all the way around. Yeah, truly a tragedy for so many families and children involved. Dateline correspondent Dennis Murphy. Dennis, so much, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.